Hello, my fellow cigar smokers, and welcome to Smokers Pod. We are doing an unboxing, and it is a new Davidov. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and it is. The brand new Davidoff Chef's Edition 2021. That's a huge package. And guys, I already know what's in there because I saw a couple of photos and stuff. Excited to unbox this beauty and let you all know what's going on with the new Chef's Edition. Let's, let's see what's inside. So guys, new Chef's Edition, um, 2021. There are 10 Churchill cigars in there and it's strictly limited, uh, let's see, to 9,500 boxes. And I know that it was like 99% sold out after I think two or three weeks because this one, it's the third Chef's Edition that Davidov is doing, but this one is real spectacular uh, for a couple of reasons that I will show you. So guys, um, let's open it up. A lot of packaging in there, like to protect the whole stuff. So empty box and the, the main attraction is in here covered in a white satin uh, cloth. So guys, that's how it looks like. A wooden top. Echo Amano, handmade. So guys, as you can see here, it has a special like shape, right? Uh, and that has a meaning because when you open it up the cover itself is like you see in the middle you have two classes here in the middle you can for example uh, put your um, that that one that ashtray that is made for one cigar or the cigars itself with a stand it's looking beautiful when you're doing photos maybe already on Instagram or, or somewhere else already saw a couple of photos where people were arranging cigars and stuff. But the, the real cool thing is, uh, so that's how it looks like. Another thing for protecting. So guys, you see, there are 10 cigars in here, right? The 10 Churchill cigars. If you remove them, I will do it right now. If you remove them, you have this kick-ass ashtray. Really, I mean, that is such a beauty. And I'm telling you one thing, if you ever bought stuff from Davidoff, like accessories, ashtrays or stuff, I mean, this ashtray alone, they would charge you like, I don't know, two or 300 bucks easily. Uh, I have other Davidoff ashtrays uh, that are not that cool, uh, that were way more expensive. So the unique thing is they, they we're coming up with this unique idea of making an ashtray with a cool cover and using it as a box simultaneously and putting 10 Churchill cigars in there. Guys, that is, that is that's awesome. I love that. Um, I've, I recorded a small uh, like um, close up. Uh, so you can see here a little bit better how's it, how's it looking like, but I think it's, it's, it's fantastic guys um, so while I'm putting here the, the Churchill cigars back in here and by the way I love the Vitola that's it, that's great uh, I didn't try one up to now because they're kind of fresh you know and I always want to leave them in the humidor for a couple of for Davidoff for me it's okay when they're staying in the humidor like a week or a couple of days because they other than Cubans they are just ready to be smoked. Uh, but they, they had a kind of a long travel. Uh, so I give them a little bit more time to relax. 
Um, so what I'm smoking is uh, at least a Davidoff, and that is the Davidoff Dominicana. Uh, at the moment, one of my favorites. So other than the than this, uh, the boxing. Uh, means the cover, the ashtray thing, and so let me tell you a little bit about uh, the chef's edition and what is the intention of Davidov doing something like the chef's edition. As the name implies, and what you also can see here in the, on, the, on the logo is, you see this little chef's head over here, um, has something to do with cooking. And as I said, that's the third Chef's Edition. They were, they were doing two already. Um, and what they always do is, they, the master planner who is doing the cigar, is working together with a couple of, um, um, of chefs. Uh, and not just the guy next door from the, uh, who's doing the snacks. They looking for the, like, the top-notch chefs in the world. Uh, who are also cigar smokers. And then they're working together um, to find a perfect smoke that combines very good uh, with uh, excellent food. Uh, so every year, uh, or at least for the last two chefs editions, um, always different different chefs. And this time, I can show you a photo uh, of the of the guys who were doing it. Mm. Namely, that is Norbert Niederkofler. Uh, and Norbert Niefler, Norbert, <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's even a German name and I can't pronounce it. Uh, Norbert Niederkofler um, uh, works in the Alpine food space and restaurant in Magebe. Um, and then you have Juan Amador, who's working uh, in the restaurant Amador in Vienna. Well, by the way, I just been to Vienna last week, uh, but I'm telling you all that in the in the next uh, night hall. Um, and you have Masa Takayama, who's working in the restaurant uh, uh, Masa in uh, New York City. Um, and you have, the last one is Jorge, Jorge Vallejo, the restaurant Quintonil in Mexico City. Um, Norbert Niederkofler, Juan Amador, and Masaka Takayama, they all have three Michelin stars. So, as I said, top notch. I'm not a big fan of that star, uh, of that star kitchen stuff because it's too much fancy bullshit around it. And uh, I'm not really enjoying it because you're paying like, I don't know, like, 200 bucks for a plate and you're not even full after eating it. <laughs> and that, that's not working for me. Give me a steak, God damn it. Uh, but I, I definitely can appreciate that uh, and I definitely can respect the art that the guys are doing. It's just not my thing. Uh, but they were doing a very good job uh, with, uh, uh, with Davidov, I hope. Uh, as I said, um, um, didn't try it up to now. I will do it probably next week or so and then I will get, let you guys know. Uh, if the cigar is good. The other two Chef's Edition were very good cigars, uh, but that, that, that new box here, that was, uh, I saw the first photos like when they first introduced it like four, five, six months ago, and I was like crazy. I, ha I have to buy that, that shit because just alone for the ashtray, because it's a big ashtray and they are not so often around here. You have all that, that typical cigar ashtrays, but a big one. And like this, beautiful, beautiful. But it was kind of tricky because here's the deal. The David of Chefs, I'm sitting here in the David of Flagship store in Frankfurt, Germany, right? And you could think that they have it, right? And you can buy it. No. <laughs> no. Not possible due to German regulations. I had to buy this one in Switzerland. <laughs> and it was like, <clears throat> um, I think around 360, 70 euros, something like this. The German law says you can sell cigars or tobacco products in general, but it's not allowed. 
to add something to it, like uh, an ashtray, for example. Uh, or not even that, let's say, let's say it's a stand or whatever, you know. It's not allowed. As soon as you're putting something to the tobacco product, no matter what it is, even it's just, uh, I don't know, like a, a casino chip for that is worth 50 cents. It's not allowed. So Davidov was not allowed to sell the Chef's Edition 2021 in Germany. He had to buy it somewhere else. So I bought one box in Switzerland and I bought another one in Hong Kong. <laughs> in Hong Kong, guys, it was crazy. Because there is a dealer where I'm occasionally buying things because uh, um, the shop is called Next Cigar and I'm, I'm, sometimes I'm buying stuff there because they have, sometimes they have very unusual and rare stuff and if you can get it nowhere else, you can get it over there. And they had a special deal with the Chef's Edition for a special price and I just bought another box. It's not here yet, but then I will have two, one for collecting and the other one I will smoke and using the ashtray. Um, so, and I'm still I'm not sure if like Davidov knew what they were doing uh, when they were like, like organizing the Chef's Edition. Maybe they forgot about the German regulations. I don't know, or they didn't care. I mean, actually, Germany is, I think, the, the, the second or the third biggest cigar market in the world, uh, where, where a lot of products are, are sold. Um, so it is important for Davidov and for most other brands too. But uh, as I already said, it was like sold out in, in a couple of weeks. So obviously it wasn't a problem. And for crazy people like me, you're always able to get your shit from somewhere else. So, but it, it wasn't so, it would be of course easier just going here in my favorite store and buying the stuff from here. A, it would, be, would have been easier. And secondly, I uh, would have been able to support my local dealer. However, that's the way it is. So, guys, the David Chef's Edition, uh, 2021. Uh, check out the review in the next couple of weeks when it's coming. Um, if you can get a hold of it, if you're a Davidov fan, uh, if you like what Davidov is doing, I think that's it's just a great piece of, maybe not art, but they were doing a pretty good job. Um, take a look and maybe you get singles and give it a try, whatever. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching uh, that unboxing. Uh, Guys, I hope you can enjoy a good cigar, enjoy life. Most importantly, stay safe and stay healthy. And I hope to see you around at Smoker's Spot. Cheers.